Hello, 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 and welcome to you, my brothers and sisters. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I was thinking about you guys all day. I made a video, but um, I had some little difficulties, so I decided to um, not to upload. But I just stopped by to encourage us tonight as we um, give God thanks and praise for another year, for another season. We thank God for the blood of Jesus. We thank God for His grace and mercy. I want to say thank you and welcome to you, my new subscribers. Thank you to each and every one of you for liking, for sharing, for even leaving comments. I'm so grateful and appreciative to each and every one of you. I just want to encourage us briefly as um, I was um, in um, last month, which was the month of December, and I said to my family and to my children, I said I would be um, decreeing and declaring these portions in the prayer book prayers that work by Pastor Kevin L. A. Ewing and as I was reading um, it says commanding the earth and its inhabitants to work in your favor and this is such a powerful I mean this 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 prayer is just so powerful and it talks about my portion on the earth and every time I would pray I would just find myself just decreeing and declaring my portion on the earth. And it reads, it says, my portion on earth. Success is my portion. Wealth is my portion. Health is my portion. Wisdom is my portion. Understanding is my portion. Righteousness is my portion. Knowledge is my portion. Insight is my portion. Happiness is my portion. Favor is my portion. The soundness of mind is my portion. Understanding mysteries is my portion. My children's success is my portion. It reads, success is my portion. Wealth is my portion. Health is my portion. Wisdom is my portion. Understanding is my portion. Righteousness is my portion. Knowledge is my portion. Insight is my portion. Happiness is my portion. Favor is my portion. The soundness of mind is my portion. Understanding mysteries is my portion. My children's success is my portion. And I said to my family that I would be decreeing these portions over my life and my family as I walk in to 2024. I would be decreeing and declaring these portions. And as the new year rolled in, and I started to just read the prayer book, um, well, from my Godhead, I haven't put it down. And if I put it down, and even when I travel, I take my prayer book, because if I'm on the flight, or if I'm sitting, waiting in the airport or something, I would just pull it out just to, just to get a little word in there, just to get a little encouragement for the day, you know, for that day, or whatever I'm dealing with, I just, you know, would pull out my prayer book, and just read these prayers, because it's, it, it's I mean, this prayer book, prayers that work littered with scriptures, so, as I was, um, continuing you know to just focus on the will and the purpose and the plan of God for my life and my family I came across another powerful prayer that we would always use in our morning devotion praying God's word um, I wouldn't go through the whole passage but there's two passage of prayer that I would really love to share with you guys, just to encourage you, just to lift your spirit, just to give you hope to know that, guess what? God is so awesome. God is so mighty and God is so powerful. And the thing about it is the knowledge that, oh my God, the, just the awesome and the greatness of God. And I just want to read just this portion, just to encourage you, my brother, my sister. Some of you might be broken. You might be going through a situation, a circumstances. Some of you might be going through a divorce. Some of you might be mourning the loss of a loved one. But the word of God is always here to uplift and to encourage us. And sometimes your back may be pressed against a wall where um, you lose 
lose a job or where um, you fall on hard times and you're not able to pay the bills on time things are going you know little haywire but I stop by just to encourage you my brothers and sisters in the word of God in this prayer book prayers that work and it says praying God's word and these two portion it reads Lord I I declare while simultaneously agreeing with your word in Psalms 1 2 and 3 Psalms 1 verses 2 and 3 that says if I meditate on your word day and night I shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that shall bring forth fruit in my season my leaves shall not wither and whatsoever I do shall prosper that is Psalms 1 verses 2 and 3 it reads God Almighty, I bind myself to your word that cannot lie. Your word says clearly to me in Proverbs 8 and 12. Listen carefully. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. Thank you, Lord, for the knowledge you have set aside just for me to discover witty inventions so that I and my family shall prosper. And as I read that prayer and as I read the scripture that goes, it says, I, wisdom, dwell with prudent with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions and you guys might say why is it that let me tell you something what it's what it says, it says god word cannot lie god says my word will not return unto me void so I am encouraging us this morning, this afternoon, tonight, that it doesn't matter how it appears, it doesn't matter how it looks. God's word cannot lie. God's word will not lie. If God says you, he, he will give you a million dollars, it may take five years, it may take ten years, but as long as you be faithful, as long as you abide with, uh, according to the rules, the laws, the principles, and the command of God, your million dollars would come. See, God is just putting you through a process. Says. He he is grooming you. He is he is training you that when he give you that million dollars, that you are able to manage that million dollars. Witty inventions when nobody else seems to could do it or nobody else seems to could understand it. All of a sudden, it pops into you that I could do that. I could fix that. I could create that. I could turn that around. And when people see this, like wow. Did you do that? Did she do that? Did he do that? Because it, it, it becomes a masterpiece, something that nobody else thought of doing, something that a new a new experience, a new adventure, a new a new product, something that hey, perhaps a bar of soap, perhaps a perfume, perhaps a shampoo, a conditioner, just something strange, something different from the whole package from everybody else. It's different because why you're praying and you say, God, the knowledge that you said you've given me, the experience to discover witty inventions. I want to tap in. I want to. I want to experience the wittiness, the invention that nobody else thinking about doing but God drop it in my spirit and when I finish with that that comes out as a masterpiece so I encourage you today get into the word of God seek the word of God and if God say it to you know that God will bring it to pass because his word cannot lie his word will not return unto him void hear me today I encourage you today as I encourage myself I believe in God for supernatural things in 2024 I believe in God I'm been I've been praying this word God I want wisdom he said I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty invention I'm expecting to do some things that will blow my family my that will blow my friends my neighbors people that sees me and knows me and know what I'm capable of doing but when they see this next move of God that they would be amazed they would be blown away it's not me the credit and the glory and the praise is not for me all honor praise and glory to God I'm just excited for what God is about to do and what he will do in our lives if we open up and make ourselves available for him to use us uh, to use us i'm so excited to experience witty inventions things that nobody else thought about but i thought about it because why the holy spirit downloaded in me 
let the Holy Spirit download those witty inventions that people never expected or think that you could do. But because of the Holy Spirit down inside of you, the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding combine together and you have witty inventions. God bless you. God keep you. God strengthen you. Thank you once again, my brothers and sisters, for liking, for subscribing. Thank you. I appreciate you all so much. Have a blessed and a wonderful, exciting, venturous, witty inventions in this new year. Peace and blessings to you. In Jesus' name is my prayer.